The 24 to 105 used to be the always on lens, that lens that you can carry always on your camera no matter what the job requires. Well, with an f4 that was not fast enough for most people and now Canon brings us a 24 to 105 with a constant aperture of 2.8 and that's not the only great feature, it has packed a ton of features what it can do and what it can't do that you're gonna find out in this video coming up hi guys my name is paul i'm a german based cinematographer and this channel is all about filmmaking gear reviews but also the interior of the toy so if that's something that you're interested in consider subscribe that really helps the channel so thank you and welcome to germany's winter wonderland here i thought hey, let's go out of the office and film outside. But now we are talking about the 24 to 105. That one was sent to me from Canon Germany for testing. Uh, I've also used it on a job and I'm using it on a daily basis on my Canon C70 for, and also on my RED. Uh, so for testing for the last two weeks. And I'm honestly very impressed of this optical engineer-wise masterpiece that Canon put together here. Not only has it a constant aperture of 2.8, but it is also very video focused on its abilities and features. What I mean by that is, well, on one hand, we have a declicked aperture that we can control here from 2.8 all the way to f22. But we can also click this button here and set it to A and then as it normally would, it will transfer the data to the camera and we control it via the camera. Even if you control it by yourself, um, it will also transmit the data to the camera so you always will know on what um, f-stop you're shooting. This alone is a great feature. Another great feature is that it's par focal, meaning uh, once you have acquired focus, the focus won't change no matter in what zoom range you are. So let's say you uh, locked your focus on 24 and you zoom all the way in making a pretty nice crash zoom like I did on a coffee <laughs> and it's still tech sharp. So that's an ability that only cinema zoom lenses have. It doesn't extend while you zoom. So as you can see here, I'm zooming in and out and the lens stays in place so that makes it very nice for balancing on gimbals and stuff like that we also have uh, for the rf lenses this controlling here which you can dial to whatever you want to we can focus here the focus wheel doesn't have a hard stop so it's kind of a hybrid it's made for photographers but also for filmmakers so canon try to put all of it in here. It is also stabilized and man, this is really crazy good. So for example, here I'm filming a bird and I'm in a super 16 crop mode on the C70, so in 2K and uh, in its native it is already a super 35. So um, considering the crop factor, I think we are around um, like uh, 300, close to 300 uh, millimeter of a focal length here and you see how stable that is in real time. So that is really impressive and as I've said, I've used it in a job I shot recently a commercial for a client. The lens basically had everything what I needed. Um, I could be far away from the people and still getting a great shot due to the zoom range. And I thought initially that the um, weight will be a problem for me it's uh, 1.5 kilo roughly, but I think it's pretty good balance, especially on the C70 and also on the Red Komodo when you're using a V-mount. From the image wise, so colors and contrast is looking great, um, as you know from Canon. And this lens is very clean, so meaning you don't have any chromatic aberration, also in terms of flares, it's very, very neutral. So whatever look, you desire you just put in front of it with a glass or filter or something like that and also uh, the bouquet that is the right pronunciation <laughs> um, looks pretty nice so i think um, yeah canon has done a great job here but then there's obviously the price point of uh, 3600 euros it is here and it's it's expensive um, that's true 
But if you consider that um, for that money, you can spend also on five to six prime lenses, um, then it's a totally different calculation, I think. And then it also comes down to, um, are you using more primes or using more zoom lens? So the question, do you want to be, uh, are you a prime guy or do you want to be as flexible as possible? And let's face it, there are always jobs where a zoom lens is necessary when it's run and gun, so you don't have time to change lenses and stuff like that. So for these occasions alone, this lens is totally worth it in my opinion. Canon has done really an impressive job here, not only optical wise, but also from the construction and everything like that. This lens does pack it all. So one lens to rule them all, you can say. Um, so yeah, that was my take on it. If you have any further questions, you know the game, just drop them down in the comments below. And Christmas is already ahead. So I wish all of you, wherever you are in the beautiful world, uh, Merry Christmas, stay with your family, enjoy the time. So um, get comfortable, uh, yeah, try to get relaxed to get rid of the stress from the normal days uh, that will come in January, January anyway. So hope you have a great time. And yeah, if you have any further questions, you know the game. See you then. Cheers.